What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Matt Killer, and welcome back to another video. Today, what we're going to be doing is another car review. Perfect. You might have seen it on the title. What is this? Hold on. We're going to be doing something very special today. We're going to be doing a car review. And for those of you who haven't watched any of my other car reviews or my other car videos, uh, you should definitely go check that out before watching this video just to tell me how you like them. So, without further ado, let's get on with this video. Alright guys, so look, we made it here and I'm here with my buddy Gino. Say what's up Gino. What's going on YouTube, YouTube. Alright, so look, check this out. So tell us a little bit about this vehicle, starting off with the name. So right here, I call this one the White Lotus. This is my second Acura. Had a first one in 2006, this one's a 2010. Okay. The, um, this is the uh, technology package. Mm. So with the TLs, you had three types. You had the base model, technology package, then you had the SH all-wheel drive. Okay. SH all-wheel drive, you can get it in the six-speed auto or you can get it in the six-speed manual. Mm -hmm. This one right here, you come and check it out. This one is the five-speed auto. Okay, so we got the five-speed auto. Right now, but it's all right. You know, you got the five-speed auto, sport mode. Okay. All leather interior, soft touch leather dash. Okay. You have the uh, navigation system. I like this. It's so smooth. Yeah, this is. you can think of in this car, man. You got the paddle shifters over there when you put it in sport mode. Okay, it comes with paddle shifters you on the 2010 too? Ooh -wee. Push the start. You know, we sporting the uh, 3.5 meter V6. Okay. You know, most of these cars bond stock. They make about anywhere from 280 to 305 horsepower, but I have a few modifications done to mine. I okay. I have an endless RPM downpipe that I mm. picked up a couple months ago, put it on, easy install. I cut off my lot, my bottom cat, the third cat. Go ahead, okay. go ahead and cut it off because it didn't have any O2 sensors. Mm -hmm. Then I have a Maxwell exhaust up under it. Okay. Replacing my resonator. So at first when I got the car, the resonator was already gone. Okay. Then I took the uh, stock mufflers, the back mufflers, cut them off, ran a glass pack. Okay. So you look back here. I changed the tips out with cannonball double tips, the burnt tips on both sides. Ooh -wee. Then we have uh, the back like place that. of the resonator. So you got the endless RPM J pipe. Oh, he got quad tips you on it. You got the cut off. You got the mag flow. Then it's piped straight through the back. Okay. So. We'll go ahead and do a little quick startup. I'll let you hear I got a guy sound, do a couple of rounds. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. He's this exhaust setup sounds pretty dope. I'm not even gonna lie to you. So I'm really anxious to hear it off of a warm start. He said the cold starts are pretty vicious. Let's see. That sounds beautiful. I'm not even gonna lie to you. And you said this car has no tune, correct? No tune at all. And you know what's crazy, y'all? I know y'all feeling it. I know you heard it. Y'all like, oh, he definitely got a he pops and bangs tune. Nah, this is no tune, and it already sounds like a burble. And he just spitting exhaust fluid out. Look at this. Look, he just got fluids all over the wall. <laughs> Man, when she's driving, you get us about 3,500 RPM. Back off the gas. It's she screams like crazy, man. Mm. You step on it. Step popcorn? Screen, man. Like popcorn, man. Popcorn. Okay. So I'm really anxious to see this. So, <laughs> you know, I'm already, you already know, he said between 280 and 305 wheel. Um, I'm ready to hear it. Yeah, let's take four rod, man. Yeah, let's do it. So basically, I seen on his Snapchat every morning or maybe every other morning, every morning yeah. he bought he busts out the little cold starts and when i heard it you know i'm just waking up in the morning you know so you just get to scrolling on snap when i seen it i was like huh what is he doing and he, he was like cold start cold start you know what i'm saying started up screaming when i tell you this car is screaming off the cold start it makes my v6 sound like a little wimp i'm not having a lot of y'all so we're gonna do a couple pulls. We're gonna get like a little nice little clip, you know what I'm saying? And then we're gonna get this video on and popping. Make sure you guys, if you made it this far, like, comment, and if you're new to the channel, subscribe down below. Sure. Let's get it, get it, go. And this is a rear wheel? Front wheel. Front wheel, mm -hmm. interesting. I didn't know that. Tell me something, so the drivetrain of your vehicle, does it make a difference on the performance? Oh uh, yeah, since it's front wheel drive, it does make a little bit of a difference. You know, any car with rear wheel drive is gonna have a better start. But man, 
like sometimes, you know, you throw a two in on here, if it was manual, it would be a little bit easier to, if it's the SHR wheel drive, it would be a little bit easier to take dudes mm -hmm. and races. Yeah, yeah. You know. Because you get a little, a little bit better traction. But if I'm racing another front wheel drive car, like let's say a Civic or another Honda, you know what I'm saying, it'll be a hell of a lot easier. Yeah. Rather than a Mustang or a Camaro or anything like that. Okay. You know, then the weight difference, this car is a, a heavier car, you know, because. We'll be rocking like 38. Close to that because uh, this car is actually, since it's the 2010 model, it's actually extended. It's longer than the mm. 2006 model. Yeah. Than the model I first had. You okay. Know, they made it like that to make it more space for the people in the back seats. Yeah. I mean, it's very roomy. I'm not even a lot of y'all. So for those who can't really see in the back, it actually has a lot of room. And for someone like me, a Mustang driver, I'm used to two seats and no one in the back. So. To see a car like this that has so much room, you know, it feels good. So, so I, first thing I throw a little downshift on there. Mm. She's screaming, no cap. Yeah, this sounds fun. Oh my god. Honestly, the pull, you would never expect the the amount of sound you get from this car to be on this car. You know what I'm saying? Exactly, yeah. Because, it me off too. Yeah, because most people, I mean, obviously, the cars you see, most sound is sportier cars, coupes, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. like Camaros. Like the G35s. Or, or the yeah, G37 or any, 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 any of those performance model-based cars. Yeah, that's those, he actually he bought it for Ooh. yes sir this is this is nice and you know what's crazy though it really feels like my car honestly like, it, it feels exactly like my car it sounds so good in this part right here let's see let's see if we can roll the windows up in here to, uh, there's some car may or may not be able to hear them because the car is warm and mm -hmm. find out. Yeah, it's a little cold outside. It's about 62. Oh, yeah. That's oh, yeah. Car, oh, yeah. You can definitely hear it. And the pops are so subtle. Like, it, honestly, I really I really thought he had a burble tune on this. Because, like, a buddy of mine, uh, you actually know him, Kyle underscore 4.2. Go ahead and check him out. Um, he actually has a burble tune on his F-150. Nice. And he said that it pretty much creates those low pops. Mm -hmm. Like, literally, we'll go, like, 20 to 40, and it just bop, 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 yeah, bop. And it's so, it's so low, and it's subtle. But it sounds so good. Oh. Yeah, you can definitely hear it. I don't know if y'all can hear it. Let me see. I hope y'all can hear that. I know I can, because I can, so. I mean, yeah, we can always do a little flop outside. You would you definitely hear it outside. We. Oui. You yeah, actually, I should have got a flyby with uh, Brandon's Camaro, and I never yeah, did. That would have been nice. I never did, so we can actually catch a flyby clip. For all of my car videos, all of the car reviews, I think we should just catch a nice little flyby for every car just so you guys can have an idea because the sound on clips in camera is nowhere near the amount of sound you get in person. Exactly. So, because the mics on these cameras, they, they just, they're not the same. It's not like a human, not like ear. A human ear. Yeah, it's nowhere close to a human ear. And plus they have all these noise reduction features, you know, all that crazy stuff. So, that's one thing I'll let you all like right here and I'll go down and take a circle. And pull you'll, it. You'll definitely be able to hear the pops. Perfect. All right, let's do it. You hear that? Look at that. That sounds so good. It sounds so, so good. Yes, sir. I don't know if you guys can hear from here, but it sounds so good. Like, in, especially in this area, it's like the neighborhoods. It's like, it's kind of like it's creating like a tunnel. 
like it's just cupping the sound so his car sounds so beautiful here he comes guys let's get it right here nice little flyby action I know y'all heard that that was beautiful and it's subtle and all he has i think he said he has what uh test pipes uh muffler muffler delete actually no he's full straight pipe to be honest Ooh. yes yes lord yes lord it sounds so good mm. that was beautiful Honestly, I think the pool coming back this way, that one was yeah, the one. Yeah, a little bit better. Go right when you let off, because when they come out. Yeah, it, it just starts screaming. And like, literally, it sounds so good from like right here, because like the, the way the houses are set up. Oh, be careful, little man. <laughs> but yeah, it literally sounds like a tunnel in this yeah, neighborhood, because the houses, the houses, yeah, they're right next to each other, so. Mm -hmm. Create yeah. that echo wall. Yeah, I love it, I love it, I love it. Yeah, this is nice. I hope you guys are enjoying this video because I am. I am too. Yeah, right? <laughs> Commit to a lane. Got a nice little bump right here. Hold on. Ugh. Right here. This car is very nice. I love it. I love it. And you don't have to do much. Like, literally, I feel like how much throttle are you pushing in? Like, just. I don't know. And it just, like, you can hear it. It just. It really wakes you up, I'm not even gonna lie. So good. And it's nice, it doesn't drone a lot like the first exhaust system I had. It yeah. droned a lot because it was a. Uh, yeah, actually. It was a was, cherry bomb blast pack. I was meaning to ask you about that. So, um, when you first, like, when you first um, finished the full exhaust setup, mm -hmm. Um, were you worried about the droning? Like, uh, if so, you, like, if it was like a comfortable ride? As so far when I first got the exhaust done, I was deployed. Mm -hmm. I had stacked up a bunch of bread because I lost my first car and I paid for this one. Mm -hmm. Bought this one cash, 10,000 cash, and went home, picked it up, brought it back to the border with me. Mm -hmm. And I took it to an exhaust shop after about one month of having it and they cut the pipes off for me and they put a glass pack up. Yeah. It droned quite a bit. It was bearable. I drove it home like that, you know, a five and a half hour drive all the way back to Houston from the border. Mm -hmm. It was okay. Once you get up in the higher RPMs and you're cruising 75, 80 miles an hour, you don't really notice it, yeah. especially because I'd be blasting my music and stuff. And it's like, you know what? I went to go get my tips put on, the new burnt tips, because the first tips they come are their their uh, rectangular tips with yeah. this car. And I think those look way, like, the circular, they look better, way yeah. better. It, so, it gives it that sporty look towards the rear. The mechanic, or the welder was like, uh, you know, he was like, this glass pack, he was like, you know, this one will give you more power and it'll sound better. It was a mag flow. Mm. It's like, you know what, fuck it, yeah, put it up there. You know, so he threw it up there for me. It sounded a hell of a lot better. Then I went a step further and I had uh, bought the Endless RPM J-Pipe, mm -hmm. which is, uh, I believe, uh, I think the original one is like a 2 or 2.5 inch inlet on the... Uh, stock j pipe yeah the endless rpm i think is either three or 3.5 give mm. you more power a better sound you know less drone so we changed that out then i went a step further after that and i was like you know this car has three cats yeah you know two of them only have only two have o2 sensors yeah one doesn't so i was like it's just restricting my airflow restricting my, my power yeah. and my sound yeah you know so i was like you know what to hell with it i was like hey cut the cat off you know, so we took the cat off and immediately it's just like it woken up a beast in this car. Yeah. Moving faster, performance was better. You know, it still gets good gas models for anyone who's wondering about doing exhaust yeah. modifications. You know, the gas models are still great. I put 10 bucks in this car earlier, a mid-grade gas, and I have 111 miles left. Ooh. You 
Now that's only because I'm driving crazy right now, slamming it to the floor. Hon stuff. Honestly, I feel that as far as having a V6, it's not bad though, because a lot of nah. people hate on V6s like left and right. But I think personally, this is all personal opinion. I think if you have a V6, love your V6. But don't go around acting like it's a V8. Yeah, that's that. that's where you get because I feel like it's dumb for people to hate on V6s, but I feel like it's dumber to act like you can be V8s. Yes. Some of them can, don't get me wrong. Oh yeah, yeah. But you gotta have the right setup. Like tunes, yeah, you gotta you gotta have a whole bunch of stuff, a lot of money put into it. Honestly, I feel money, like you can just buy a V8. Exactly. For that amount of money, I know honestly, a lot of people they put respect on V6s by, you know, doing force induction systems. But let me stop myself right here because I know a lot of you probably are like, what is he talking about? Let me click off the video. So <laughs> let me just break it down for you. The parts that you can put on a car yourself or for cheap, those are considered bolt-ons. Something that you can do simple as an exhaust setup, a cold air intake, um, a throttle body, a tune, um, you know, just basic mods you know, your suspension, all that stuff will help put you in a good space for, you know, a decent power making vehicle that saves gas. That's honestly how I feel. Because with a V6, you can make it really fast and also still conserve, your, you know, save your money. But a lot of people, they go ahead straight to a V8 and then they end up running their pockets dry. Exactly. Exactly. So, or crashing that motherfucker. Or crashing it because I seen a guy, he actually bought um i think he bought a, a 2019 scat yeah first car totaled it in a week exactly ridiculous decision Ex like i feel like if you can't handle just 485 horsepower imagine driving a hellcat 707 or even the red eyes like the 797 you know like exactly. people who don't understand that these cars are freaking vicious like they're if you're going 80 to 100 miles an hour and you crash that is a missile you are a walking missile so you gotta be careful if you out here, you know what I'm saying? You wanna get a fast car, start small, build your way up. That's why I bought the V6. You know, I'm gonna build it up towards a decent amount of power, then we're gonna upgrade. I'm not gonna talk too much about upgrades in this video. Stay tuned for the next one. But thank you guys for tuning into this video. Gino, it was wonderful having you, man. Wonderful having you this too, car man. is amazing. And I love the interior. Look at this setup. Like, I feel really bad because my, my Mustang is so plain. Like, every car that I do a review in, it's, it looks so good. Like, everything's here, yeah. you know? Like everything's right there, and it feels Just honestly. Wait till you see the RSX, everything is angled towards the driver. It's like you're in an airplane. Yeah, honestly, it kind of reminds me of the uh, the C8s, like you know the yeah, uh, and the Stinger. Yeah. yeah, and the C7s are like that. Yeah, too. so they're like more so like it blocks you off. Like you, mm -hmm. you know, this driver space. Don't get in it. You yeah. feel me? So, but overall. I give this car a 10 out of 10 in my book. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you do drop a like on this video. Comment your favorite part. Tell me if you like this car and you might want to see a race. I don't know. I I don't know. Hey, we up for anything, man. Hey, anything can happen. You know what I'm saying? Y'all make this, y'all make this come true. Make this come to fruition. Go ahead, subscribe down below. Road to 6K. Let's get it.